This is the story, Gone with the Wind, written by Margaret Mitchell and starring Scarlett O'Hara, Rhett Butler, Ashley Wilkes, Melanie Hamilton Wilkes, Charles Hamilton, Franklin Kennedy, Bonnie Blue Butler, and Mammy. Gone with the Wind takes place on the Tara Plantation in Georgia. The O'Haras prepare to entertain their southern neighbors with a barbecue, and as usual, Scarlet is the center of attention. There at the party, Scarlet plans to tell Ashley Wilkes that she loves him. Ashley says he loves her too, but they are too different and cannot be together. Instead, he tells her he is marrying her best friend, Melanie Hamilton. Later at the party, Charles Hamilton, Melanie Hamilton's brother, asks Scarlett to marry him. She says yes to try and make Ashley Wilkins jealous. A man at the party named Rhett Butler overhears Scarlett's humiliation and makes fun of her. The Civil War begins and all the men go off to fight for the Confederacy. Unfortunately, Charles Hamilton dies during the war of pneumonia. Scarlett is widowed and goes to Atlanta to stay with Melanie Hamilton. Scarlett and Melanie attend a charity dance for the rebel army and Scarlett runs into Rhett Butler again. He bids $150 to dance with her and then asks her to marry him. She says no. Soon after that, Scarlett and Melanie volunteer at the hospital for the wounded from the war. Suddenly the Yankees start to attack Atlanta while Melanie goes into labor. Scarlett has to deliver the baby herself because all the doctors are attending to the wounded soldiers. After the delivery, Rhett saves Scarlett and Melanie and takes them in his carriage. They head back to the Tara plantation leaving a burning Atlanta behind. Rhett drops them off, but not before telling Scarlett that he loves her. By Mammy, that her mother is dead, is insane. They have no money and no food. This is where Scarlett vows her famous line, as God is my witness, I will never be hungry again. After the war is over and the Yankees control most of Georgia, the Yankees have raised the taxes on the Tara Plantation and Scarlett has to come up with $300. Scarlett decides that she'll go see Rhett, who is in jail in Atlanta, and ask him for the $300. He tells her he can't get his money out because it is hidden in Europe. After this, Scarlett runs into Frank Kennedy. She marries him for the $300, and then starts a lumber business with Ashley Wilkes. Soon after, Franklin Kennedy gets shot and killed by some hobos on the street, and Ashley Wilkes gets shot. While Melanie is looking after Ashley Wilkes, Rhett Butler and Scarlett start talking outside the Tara Plantation. Then Rhett asks Scarlett if she will marry him. He says yes. They take a long honeymoon in New Orleans and then build a mansion in Atlanta. Soon after, Scarlett gives birth to a baby girl named Bonnie Butler. One morning, Bonnie falls off a horse and breaks her neck. She later dies. Rhett and Scarlett's relationship grows even more tense. At the same time, Melanie falls ill. Sadly, Melanie dies within the hour. After Melanie dies, Scarlett realizes that her love for Ashley never existed and that she really loves Rhett. She rushes home to tell him, but it's too late. He has already made up his mind to go to Charleston. Scarlett begs him not to go, saying, where shall I go? What shall I do?
But Rhett says his most famous line, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Scarlet believes that she should go back to the tar plantation and ask Mammy for help. She needs Mammy's advice for how to win Rhett back. After all, Scarlet says, tomorrow is another day.